Hello. So I um, just need to give you a warning that um, this is my raccoon eye look. <laughs> um, kids are sleeping and it's really the best time for me to do my videos. So I'm going to attempt to do that today. And I'm going to actually do a petite nail. And I've honestly never used petite nails on my nails. I think I don't have petite nails, but I want to experiment and see if petite sets could be used and work well with a non-petite nail bed girl. <laughs> okay, so this is a um, called Coral Gardens and it's really pretty. It's kind of, um, I'm wondering if it's kind of got a neon in it because usually they don't have this cardboard covering it unless it's a neon. Um, so I think it may be. So I'm going to give it a try um, and you can let me know what you think and I'll let you know what I think too. Okay? Okay. Well, hopefully this works. Um, so as with every um, package, whether it's petite or not, it comes with a prep pad and a little nail file. I never really use these nail files, but they're very cute and if you use them, that's great to have. Um, and then it comes with the set. Now this is again, this is a petite set, um, but it will still have um, two strips of this. So there's usually a way to peel, peel this off. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw my trash off to the side. Okay, let's see, this is trash. Okay, so I always forget because I get so excited, but you really don't want to forget uh, to use the nail prep pad. Don't mind my air conditioner in the background. Hopefully it's not too noisy. I'll try to speak up a little bit. So you just wanna really, um, as always, use this nail prep pad. It gets the oils off your nail beds. And I um, kinda jammed this finger, so. That may be breaking soon, unfortunately. Um, but if you feel like this nail prep pad, this alcohol really dries your nails, you're gonna wanna get the cuticle oil um, because Dry nail beds are not good for your nails. So if this dries them out too much, um, then definitely get cuticle oil. That's gonna be your best friend. All right, so here are the Coral Gardens. Look how pretty it is. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Now, this is gonna be the tricky part again. So I think these petites are not as long, which is fine because I have short nails. So I'm gonna really um, have to test it out to see which it will fit. But right now, obviously this one's way too small, so that one I'm not using. Um, this one looks like it might be a good fit. So I'm gonna try this one for my pinky. And so as with any set, you take off a little clear, and I like to do the kind of the airplane or anchor method, and I just, Place it down and kind of pat it down before I fully release it. Move this down a little bit because I want to try and use this side for my other pinky. And just fold it. Put it down again. So, so far, this one is looking pretty good. So, I like to smooth it out uh, and kind of push it down and I use my thumbs to perforate gently and kind of move it all around. So I may not be able to save this because you see how this is um, kind of crinkly. I can try to save it like so the original uh, standard sets I can get two nails out of one of these little strips. I might not be able to do that with this. It might be too small and that's okay. So let me just try it without some of you may not be able to. I think I have short enough nails that I actually can. Although it's kind of, I kind of crinkled it too much over there. So I'm not going to bother. I'm going to use a fresh, fresh one. So I'm moving that off to the side. And I knew that with this one, this one was too small. So now I'm going to take this one for this pinky. Because I like to do um, pinky all the way all the way and then thumbs last because I use my thumbs as tools and I kind of like use them to perforate the edges if they're on my skin. You don't want to have any 
and get that on your skin. It doesn't look good. Sometimes you can't help it and you just gotta use a tool, but I like to use my thumbs. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully you can see. Maybe I can try to get this a little bit brighter. Yeah, I think that really helped. Okay, so I'm just gonna place it down gently. Try to make sure it's even on both sides, especially with petite, I'm sure that will make a difference. It's kind of dark in here, so I'm having a harder time because it's darker than I'm used to. Okay. Stuck to my finger. <laughs> okay. The tab is stuck to my finger. Okay, I'm moving it down a little bit. Looks good. And then, okay, sorry about that. I had to stop because um, my memory was full or storage was full. So now we're still, I didn't do anything more. I still only did my pinkies. So let's move on and try and see what will work next. So I feel like this one it might work. I'm gonna try and kind of go through all of them and see which is the best. So that one I feel like isn't going to work. So you can kind of like, some people curve it a little bit. So I think that one might be too small for me. Okay, so hopefully third time's a charm. Um, so I obviously um, have not much memory on my phone or storage. So I went through and again, I haven't done anything. Um, I'm gonna try and go quick because I never know if I'm gonna have enough space now. But what I did was I measured them out and I did this one. And then there was these. These two don't fit me. This one is this one. So it's gonna be, this can be my ring finger. I'm gonna try that. This one will be my middle finger. Looks like it's gonna fit, right? Then this is gonna be my pointer finger. This actually might be a little bit too big for my pointer finger, but then this is gonna be perfect for my thumb, okay? Oops, sorry, my thumb. So thumb, pointer, maybe a little bit big, so I have to take some off the skin, middle finger, and then ring. So, and then this is gonna be my other hand. So you can see how a petite can still potentially, at least for my nails, you, you'll have to try it out on your own. Um, unless you like, um, I mean, every nail bed is different. So you may have wider nail beds than me, so it may not work, but um, you can measure them. And I will post um, in maybe in the comments, a graphic which shows the sizing, like how much of a, of the inches or centimeters this is, and you can kind of measure your own nail beds. Um, but I really love this um, Coral Gardens, so I'm really glad that it will fit me. And again, normally, um, this is like a shimmer almost, so normally I would double this, but I don't have enough to double. That's the only problem, is I don't really have enough to do what I like to do, which is double layer these. Um, so, when you double layer, you really actually extend the wear time. Um, Color Street lasts a long time on their own, but if you double them, it's even longer. However, in reality, the health of your nails, um, if you have nail polish, whether it's Color Street, liquid, acrylic, whatever, you name it, covering your nails, it's going to not be that healthy. So you wanna wear Color Street Take them off after maybe 10, maybe 14 days, and then have a good day or, day or two of a break where you really hydrate your nails. Um, and that's what's going to get your nails healthy. If you only do Color Street, Color Street, Color Street, Color Street, and you leave them on for as long as they last, which is a long time, then you're probably going to end up seeing some issues with your nails. And it's not because it's Color Street, it's because it is nail polish in general. And like I said in... Um, uh, hopefully you can see me. Okay, like I said in um, one of my videos, you really want to take care of your nails because if you don't, um, Color Street's not going to look as good. But it's not Color Street's fault. It's the, the nail health that you have. Um, and it's, it's something I had to learn um, as a stylist that um, my nails, if they don't look that great, it's not because... It's, you know, application or color street. It's because I need to drink more water. It's I need to hydrate more. Um, 
So hopefully you can see this. Um, and hopefully you guys will be inspired to grab some petite nails. Um, they're really pretty and um, they have some really nice ones. There's um, another mermaid. I think it's like Violet Shimmer. Um, and that one's another one that I'm going to actually, now that I know I can wear them, I'll definitely use. Definitely throw your comments in, or your questions in the comments of this video. I like to go live, but I don't feel like I can go live in this particular, the way that I have my phone set up. Um, I think you always kind of have to go live upright. So I was nervous that it was going to give me an issue. Um, so again, so I have some on my skin here and I don't want to leave it there. I may leave it for a minute or two and then I'll come back and kind of clean up the edges. A lot of times I do that. Um, I'm getting close to the end here and I'm really loving it. Um, and some of these maybe you could use even on your toes because I got itty bitty toenails. Um, and so you can use them on your toes. That is a video for another day though. Uh, see how I put it down and picked it up so you can readjust it as long as you don't like really push it down. So you're going to see this one's too big, but I'm going to come back and clean that up after. Okay, I hope you're getting a good look. Again, I'm sorry it's dark, but I have a ring light on, so hopefully you'll be able to see. Um, so you see how big that is for my nail? I have to come back and take that off. So you can even use your, your thumb or you can use a cuticle pusher and um, kind of, you know, use. I use this side to smooth it out. A lot of times with solids I do that. Um, and sometimes I just push it in further into the, the side. I get nervous using this side because I'm afraid I'm gonna kind of mess it up a little bit so I can be, be daring and courageous here and just kind of push it into the edge and that perforates it nicely too and you can go with your thumb and pull it off. This is the only one that was too big. But you want to take your time. You don't want to rush it, especially if it's something new to you. Once you've done this a couple of times, you can do it like in a breeze. And I'm taking my time because it's a video, number one. And also because um, this is the first time I've ever using a petite set. And I'm very excited, pleasantly surprised that this is going to work. I'm really taking my time because I don't want to peel off the wrong part. Okay, so I'm going to come back, get this last part. I'll come back for that last part later. Um, okay, so now let me do this one and then we get my thumbs to do, which the thumbs I definitely always, always use this. Um, I may splice some of this out. <laughs> Because it's probably boring to watch me do the same thing over and over again, but maybe not. Maybe it's helpful. You can let me know. So I'm doing it a little bit differently this way. I'm going to use my thumb. Okay. One hand is tends to be a little bit easier always because um, I'm right-handed, so if I use my right. 